Hey you guys, welcome aboard Crab Central Station. We're so glad you're back here with us today to learn all about some tips and tricks on how to fix humidity problems. That's what this video is all about. Before we get into our tips and tricks of how to troubleshoot humidity, if this is brand new information to you, humidity in general for hermit crabs, then go check out our other video that explains in depth and detail how to create humidity and the importance of that in your crab attack. For those of you just needing to troubleshoot, that's what this video is all about. But a quick reminder that we are aiming for 75% humidity for purple pinchers and 85% humidity for the exotic species. Okay, here we go. Here are some tips and tricks if you are dealing with low humidity on a consistent basis. So if you're having a few peaks, um, either too high or too low every once in a while, that's really pretty normal. These tips and tricks are for a consistent issue where you are having trouble regulating your humidity long term. I'm going to give these to you in order of how I would try them. That way you're not changing tons of things in your tank and then you're not really sure which one helped um, and, and that sort of thing. So try these in order. Hopefully um, you'll find the one along the way that works or maybe a couple of the things that you have to piece together. So first of all, the um, first thing you need to check is to make sure that you have a sealed tank. And I know we talked about that in the other video, but it's just great to remind you that that'd be the first thing I check. Your tank needs to be completely sealed in order to hold in that humidity. Otherwise, it's just leaking out on all those gaps. If you have a mesh lid, you can easily wrap it in saran wrap or even use glad wrap, um, the press and seal kind, and those will work pretty temporarily. Um, they're not really a long-term fix, but you could check and see if that's where your problem is to start out. All right, the second thing I would try is just to use some natural sphagnum moss, which is a great tank staple anyway. Your hermit crabs love to eat it and they hide in there. And so this is an easy fix for a long-term solution. Uh, we leave sphagnum moss in our tanks all the time. But if low humidity is your problem, instead you would want to take your sphagnum moss and mist the moss with prime treated um, fresh water and then place it in your tank against the back wall where you have your heat mat. Remember, humidity is created by heat and moisture. And so that damp moss against the heat mat is what's gonna create the humidity in the air and hopefully fix all the problems you've been having. You can also place the moss in a little container. We call it a moss pit. And your crabs will love to hang out in there and especially get like a big dose of humidity if they're feeling like they need that. And you can always re-mist that moss once you have it in that little container anytime that you need to. The third thing that I would try is to add bubblers to your pool. This is a very simple and pretty inexpensive way to add quite a bit of humidity to your tank. And it's a great long-term solution. So you will need to purchase air stone, air tubing, and a small regular old aquarium pump. So once you attach your airstone to the tubing and the tubing to the pump, you will place the airstone in your pool. You can do it in the fresh water and the salt water. And um, if you need, you can even buy a regulator, which will help you turn up or turn down those bubblers based on your humidity. So that's also a great purchase if you would like. Once you put the bubblers in those pools the, and turn your pump on, the air will aerate the water, which will then evaporate into the air, creating more humidity. Lovely. And then finally, uh, the last thing that I would try if you're still struggling with low humidity is to actually relocate your pools. And I would go ahead and put them against the back wall of your tank where you have your heat mat um, right up against it because that heat against that large body of water within your pool will evaporate that water into the air, creating a nice humid environment for your hermit crabs. Make sure that your heat mat is big enough. Um, that can be maybe part of the source especially if you notice that neither of those things help, then your heat mat might be too small for, um, for your tank. And go back to our original video about heat and humidity to figure out what size heat mat you need for your tank. All right, a couple things that we need to just talk about 
uh, because they're out there on the internet and you, you hear about it even when you purchase your hermit crabs and that is to mist the tank, to take a spray bottle and just squirt it down. Or I've even heard people um, putting foggers in their tanks and things like that from the reptile section. And um, you don't want to do those. Now, again, you could mist the moss like we were talking about and then contain it in a container against the back wall. That works. But when you just mist the substrate daily, because again, remember this is a consistent problem you're having, um, then you cause some other additional issues that you will then have to find a solution for. And that is gonna be mold and mildew um, within your substrate, potentially even bacterial blooms. Also, um, you could make um, too much humidity in your tank by doing that, which would then cause condensation. The condensation would then um, drip down the walls of your tank and both spraying and condensation together could lead to a flood in your tank, which will then um, probably kill your molting crabs or harm them in some way. And so you, you definitely don't want to have that problem. Um, all right, so let's talk about the opposite problem. Maybe you're having trouble with too high humidity, which some people actually don't even believe is a problem. But I want you guys to think about just even people, you know, when it's, extra humid outside and you walk outside or you try to exercise outside when it's very, very humid, it's hard to breathe, right? And for an extended period of time, breathing in that overly humid air gets to be very exhausting and hard. And so it's the same for your hermit crabs. If you have 99% humidity long term, then they're going to have gill damage, all right? We are trying to find a balance within their tank that replicates what they have in nature. So there's nowhere in nature that has 99% humidity in the air all the time. And so if that's what's happening in your tank, then there's some things that you can do to bring that down. So let's talk about those tips and tricks. I'm gonna give you these tips and tricks in order again um, to try and this is again, extended periods of time where your humidity is 90 and above. These are the things that you wanna try. First off, go ahead and try venting your tank. Maybe you just need to help some of that humidity escape and kind of reset that environment in there. Um, again, you want to be home for this. You don't wanna vent your tank and then leave for the day um, and have an escape, or escape oh, crabby no. out in your house. So if you're gonna be home for a few hours to be able to monitor things and keep an eye on things, then that would be a great thing to try first. I just use a seashell and I pick up the corner and stick the seashell in there so it just makes a little tiny um, venting gap and that usually does the trick if I need to bring some humidity down. Uh, the next thing that I would try is um, the opposite of before. Again, go back to your sphagnum moss, but this time you're gonna put it in the tank completely dry. So right out of the bag, sphagnum moss is very, very, very bone dry, almost like dusty in some ways. Um, and so don't put any moisture on it this time because instead you're gonna set that moss in your tank and you can put it anywhere really. It's actually gonna grab that extra moisture in your air and soak it up into the moss. And when that moss becomes saturated, you're gonna remove it from your tank and then replace it with dry moss again. So it's just constantly grabbing the extra moisture within your environment. The next thing try, um, if you have bubblers in your pools already, I would go ahead and shut those off. Maybe try just running one of them. If you have a regulator, turn them down. Um, you know, bubblers create a lot of humidity, which is great if you need it, but if you're having too much, you're gonna have to regulate that um, and possibly even not need them, depending on where you live. Um, I know for in Texas, where we're from in Houston, it's, it's very, very humid, and um, I probably wouldn't need bubblers in my tank all the time there. Uh, the next thing that you could try is relocating your pools. If you have them towards the back of your tank near your heat mat, I would bring them to the front of your tank away from your heat mat or maybe to the sides of your tank where they're not touching the heat mat. So just think of all of those ways that you can separate moisture and heat and that is going to help bring down the humidity within your tank. I hope this video was super helpful, you guys, um, to really get that optimum environment within your tank so that your hermit crabs are happy, healthy, and thriving, and active, and all of those really good things that we aim for. If you're still having trouble, even after watching this video, you can DM us. We're always happy to help. 
You could also go and join the Lycos or Land Hermit Crab Owner Society over on Facebook. There's lots of mods over there that are happy to help you guys out as well. And it's just a great community to share all of your pictures and stories and things like that. And as always, you guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do that now so that you can be notified when we push out new content. Follow us on our social media so you can get all the updates, lives, pictures, and all that good stuff. And we just are really thankful that you guys joined us for this journey and we'll meet you next time at Crab Central Station.